Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the weekend update. We got a lot of stuff to go over, so let's jump right in and look at the Dow daily chart. Now, last week was just another phenomenal week for the swing plays. We're going to go over all of those plays, but like I've been saying in the chat room, this is one of the best swing markets I've seen in 20 years. Just phenomenal action out there, and I do not believe it's going to slow down anytime soon. The last time we had a great swing market was after the 2008 crash and that swing market lasted two years just for a reference point uh we're just in the early stages of this rally right now even though it seems like the action out there is crazy but we're looking at the dow daily chart here and you can see we broke up above that trend line but i left it in place just to show you we came back down underneath it and you know it's been rather remarkable kind of what's going on with the large cap stocks given the news that's out there in the background there's still this delusion that the economy is okay and that there's a v recovery out there but when you read all the articles out there 58 percent of people who aren't unemployed anymore aren't even making close to what they were making before and that kind of evidence out there is just building up and building up and we'll probably really start to see the impact of that in a few weeks but the the next big issue that's going to be for the market as it always is is washington dc now this weekend we've got a battle going on in the white house on what this stimulus plan is going to be we've been talking about this for the last three or four weeks about how these clowns are going to mess everything up well now we've got kudlow and munchkin are arguing about what kind of stimulus plan they're going to do and if the republicans can't come to an agreement with themselves what chance do you think they're going to be able to make an agreement with the Democrats? So that is the major downside risk. And as is always the case, when something important needs to be done for the economy, be it a stimulus package, be it debt ceiling, etc., the market usually has to beat these clowns over the head with a stick, which means this kind of action in large caps before they come to the table and deal so that's what we're looking at we're still you know a week or so away from all that hitting the headlines but the headlines are not positive right now if we look at the 15 minute chart we haven't looked at a 15 minute chart right now you can see you can have one of two views here we've got a flag here that's about to break up or we've got a downtrend break to you know three or four hundred points lower Again, remember, the Fed is out there. Even though if we think the large caps are going to sell off, I ain't touching. Not even touching shorts because this is a burn shorts up kind of market. We're just looking at this to get a view on what we think stocks are going to do. This is the one hour chart we've looked at. Now, we do have this little flag here. And, you know, who knows? The European and Asian markets have been deciding whether we gap up or gap down. This chart could go one of two ways tomorrow. So... There's arguments in Europe over what they're going to do with their stimulus. So depending if they make a deal or no deal is going to depend on whether the large caps gap up or gap down on Monday. As for the stocks we play, we really don't care. We actually like this choppy action in the large caps because it drives more money to the speculative stocks. But anyway, let us jump into some stock plays. We needed to pick up some new swings this week because we had so many of our swing plays go 50 to 100% in this last week. Now, I'm starting the video off this week with the next hottest sector that I think is going to be red hot over the next month. It's been red hot this week, and that is the education sector, online education, despite what certain people want to have happen as in opening schools they are unlikely to be opening next month except in the places that don't wear masks anyway the rest of the country is going online that's just inevitable s-a-l-m this was a swing pickup for us on friday phenomenal phenomenal action this is a big player that's still off the radar are most people don't know you know the research but for those of you that don't go to teachertube.com this is what these guys own plain and simple this is a big time play on this online education sector big move up on friday the next area we're looking at is 262. We got 150% when we played this stock on the last move when it was moving with its peer UONE, that stock that went from a couple of bucks to $30, $40. This time, this stock should sign now. It's shine. If we look out here 
at a multi-year chart you can see once we break over this resistance level here the next area we're looking at is five i'm not saying this thing's going to five next week i'm just showing you there is big big upside potential out here and as this story starts to spread look what boxel did and boxel i'm not going to bash any stock but if you look at what boxel did and then transfer it to what the potential is on these other stocks. The upside is very, very big on them. OBLG, boom. Already hit our first target on this one. This is a picture perfect golden cross action move. Right before it had the golden cross, it dipped. Then it had the golden cross, and a couple of days later, the stock goes up 90%. I'm gonna go over another stock that's setting up like this later, but picture perfect move on this one. If we pull out a little longer, this 274, we actually added on Friday. You know why? Because this was a multi-year break at 274. When stocks have been breaking these kinds of levels in this market, they have been going vertical. Potential upside on this one on the squeeze move is five bucks. Again, these guys are a potentially big player in the online education. They're partnered with Cisco and WWT, which is a big, big player in the education market. Go over that research in the alerts room nice setup nice breakout into this week hht now this was a big mover for us in the last week when we found that education angle on it there's a couple of angles going for this stock but there's something i want to show you guys on this one you see here this 200 day moving average we kept bumping up and down up and down bumping into that moving average when you see stocks run into big resistance levels like at these big moving averages like the 50 day or the 200 day moving average when they break out they're like caged animals that the door is open on they just fly and this one has done that it could very well continue here in the near term looks great but we had to book some gains in this one i mean this was a 150 percent mover in a few days for us excellent excellent mover again these are stocks when they dip this education theme is not going to go away anytime soon so you know we have our main players here that we're going to be playing near term the other one we jumped into as well aljj they do printing for education again schools are going to have to be scrambling to come up with new material everything can't be online for a lot of students this is another stock breakout is starting to happen here 200 day moving average is at 90 cents that is the first target here and when we break over that you know what's happening off to the races this is a pulled out view of hhmc this was the big education player that we did last week took a couple of days as always we were early on the swing and then look what it did everyone loved it they were chasing this on friday as it hit our target that's just the way it is on these stocks aljj similar stock as this one looks good into the coming week so COVID stocks wow is all i got to say htbx what a move look at that i mean 175 percent move in a week when it finally broke out and like i said the scanner fomo chasers Hated it down here, thought about it here, and we're buying up here as we're booking gains. This is extremely overbought, but this is a market where overbought can become more overbought. But who cares? We're riding on free shares. We see what happens. The stocks that I think, well, actually, I'm going to look at the other one. The other big one, Cockpea, continues. We're up to two bucks now. Slow grind higher on this one. These stocks were doing excellent action last week now the replacement plays for that that i think are going to do what hotbox did and what cockpea did ogen is the top one to do that this has been a fantastic player for us we're looking at the one week chart here when this breaks over this 125 to 132 range you can see what the target is here it's the 200 day moving average at 208 when this stock broke out last year on the weekly chart it did the same kind of move and we are setting up for this stock to do what hotbox and cock p have done for us now the other one that i think is going to do the same thing it's my largest swing position right now it's admp nice push through on the last week we're actually going to pull out and look at the weekly chart here you can see we have broken out of the downtrend line on the weekly chart and are looking great i'm not 
saying we're going to 275, but that would be the blow up target on the weekly chart. What we're looking for, 125, 150 area on this one. Remember, we are waiting for COVID news. We know it's coming. That has been the beauty of all these stocks, Hotbox, Cockpee, et cetera. We knew news was coming and that they were going to run into that news. The same situation is here for ADMP and my other large swing position in this sector, Jagex. Jagex, we are waiting on news. It's been six weeks. We're pushing seven weeks now since they started testing their drug for COVID. If we get that positive press release, I know I've got 80 set up here, but that's just the first target. This thing could go much, much higher on a COVID press release. Bingo bongo. That is picture perfect. Look at that. We are looking for a move to the 200 day moving average and it hit 85 cents. Now it came back down. It had really, really good news and excellent volume on Friday, but this was not the news we were waiting for. We're still waiting for COVID news. So I'm going to be watching this stock this week for a dip ad. It had a big move last week on big volume. It's come back down again. If they drop another press release with that COVID in the upcoming days, that's going to be fantastic. Chivas, C-H-F-S. I still cannot believe this stock is sitting down here with everything that they do. We keep getting fluff press releases from these guys that don't have the meat that we know is coming. Now, you see here the 200-day moving average. Remember when we looked at HHT earlier, how that 200-day moving average kept stopping the stock and it was bouncing underneath it. And then when it broke it, it ran huge. CHFS, you can see here, we keep pushing up against it, coming down, pushing up against it, coming down. When we get a close, when we get a close over this 200-day moving average, this stock is likely to go big. Now, this is a uh, six-month chart here. You can see what the stock was at back earlier in the year over a buck. Now, remember, these guys have voted against a reverse split a couple of times. They are not going to go for another reverse split per their SEC filing. So they have one choice get their stock over a dollar. We already know that this product is being used in 200 plus hospitals. They just haven't said it publicly. Well, they have. They posted it in a Q&A on their webinar, but they actually haven't dropped a press release. They're in Florida where everything is blowing up right now. When we get that press release, everyone's gonna be going, oh gee, who knew? And start chasing this stock up. This is the one hour chart. You can see we've got a nice tight little triangle here. 62 cents gives us 72 cents. Now, the last stock I'm going to talk about today is Otto Roboto. This one was another patient swing. We've been in it on and off over the last couple of months. It gave us a big move before. We added to that swing position a week or so ago, and then it went boom on Friday. Why did it go boom on Friday? Because it's pure RMBL ended up running from $9 to $30. These guys do the exact same thing. Big, big breakout on Friday. It ended up being a perfect rule of two. I'll go over that in the chat room. There's no time for me to do that in the video here. Perfect late day action on it came right back down. I will be watching this one closely with the action that we see on Ramble going into the next couple of days. So that's it for the video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the video and have an awesome weekend. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Bye.